accent. Gert Richter is your man in charge. Both these fighters love to throw down Carrick, and we are in for an incredible matchup, I'm sure. First blood goes to Pantelli for that low kick. Watch for Pantelli to close the distance, try and get hands on his opponent. Incredible submission, game three of Tehran's wins coming by way of submission. Pantelli stalking, but Brave Nation, watch his head. It's not going to stop moving. It's always going to be moving side to side or forward and back. This is how you stalk. Ooh. Finishing with a heavy, heavy leg kick. Stalking while moving that nose in a straight line towards your opponent, not good for your head. Stalking like this can be very, very smart. Pantelli just trying to back Trabelsi up against the cage, and when he feels like the distance is close enough, I think he'll shoot in. May try and punch his way into the clinch. Trabelsi trying to kick his way out of the cage. Doesn't want his back against the cage. Nice kick back from Momo. Nice one, two from Tyran. There's feints, feint preparatory to closing in, as you referenced, Phil. Trying to see what his opponent does when he gets down a little bit low, low enough to shoot in on those hips. Big shots, and Trapelsi may have got his bell rang a little bit there. Oh, big uppercut thrown by Trabelsi. Didn't quite land. Oh, another good shot from Trabelsi. There it is, there's a clinch. He had a sing, he's still in on the single. Feels like he's got enough on it to take his opponent down, but I'm not sure that's the case at all. May try and use the cage to bump off to create the momentum. Beautiful work. Ran the pipe beautifully on that single leg, Kirk. Sweet single leg right in front of us. We've got the two fighters now, about a meter and a half from us. Taran in the guard right now, trying to posture up. Wants to unload some ground and pound right now. Trabelsi just kind of trying to tie up the arms, but nice little shoulder bump shot from Taran. Taran working his hands to the inside. When they're there, he'll still, oh, another little, th and a third one, and a fourth one. He'll land on the right place, these could break a nose. We saw Conor McGregor use them to devastating effect, effect against Donald Cerrone. There's a special spot, Brave Nation, right on the, the point of the shoulder, a little bit forward, and it hits hard. It's like hitting with a single knuckle. This isn't a, a shove, it's an absolutely is a blow. And as the Irish Thunder said, it, it can shatter a nose. Trabelsi on bottom trying to tie up an arm. You can see he's got that bicep grip. Momentarily looked like he was trying to stuff it down for the triangle. Armbar attempt, attempt here. Elbow not remotely close. Nope. Looking potentially for a triangle back to the close. Open guard still. We've got a foot in the hip for distance management. That was denied. Be interesting to see if Trabelsi tries to cut the angle again. Taran, what he needs to do is square off the hips so that they're in line. This is all Momo right now. Does want to throw a few more shots, though. Momo on bottom trying to create that angle for himself. Has been dangerous off his back, Kirik, but... I think on the balance of play from the solidifying the position to landing those little elbow shots. Taran looks safe in this position. Garden grappling, probably the best position you can be in. MMA, not so much. Up against the cage, it's really, really hard to play your grappling craft from bottom. Another big shot from Taran on top. You could almost say he's tyrannical with those shots. He's a Tyrannosaurus Rex right now. Why is that not his nickname? Short time, Brave Nation, down to 10 seconds. 
Big shot incoming from Taran. Strong way to finish the round for Pantelli. Mohamed Momo Trabelsi cannot afford another round like that. He does not want to be on his back. What does he need to do, Kirik, to stop the takedown? He needs to develop hips that are a little bit more magical. I think he may be a little bit too intent, Phil, on setting down and trying to throw, throw strikes. Yeah. He needs those hips to be in a little bit better position to shut down the takedown. He's a little bit too eager to strike. He's got a brilliant corner with him. They're going to tell him exactly what to do. We may see, and I hope we do see, a little bit of a different look for, from him in about 25 seconds. Cannot for one second be a prone target, but then in saying that, he will have to sacrifice the power in his shots. So he won't be able to sit down in his shots because Taran will be wise to that, will sneak underneath for the takedown. Can't afford to have his back against the cage either, so needs to implement constant, not just lateral movement, but almost ice skating, uh, like Z-shaped movement to keep his back off the, the cage. Watch Taran's head, Brave Nation. It's been moving very, very well, keeping him safe from those shots. Taran again in stalking mode, trying to pressure Momo against the cage, but Momo needs to stop with the go slow and go, go. Hasn't really entered his flow flow just yet. That's very rare, you see that? Someone throwing a leg kick and them being off balance from it. You feel that that takedown Kirk from Taran is almost inevitable. He's moving his head so beautifully, Phil. He knows his opponent is head hunting with the hands. He can feel it. And by moving his head just a couple of centimeters up, down, forward, back, left, right, he is avoiding nearly all the shots while playing with distance enough to land shots there in the is. zone. Again on the single. Can he run the pipe on that? Switches to a higher grip. Now has both hands locked around the waist. He's got a body lock. We've got an underhook. Very hard to take somebody down from here. Momo doing the right thing by trying to raise that level of Taran up. But he eats a big knee to the midsection. This is that dog fight territory I was talking about. Pantelli did a beautiful job there of turning a defeat into a victory. He was looking for that takedown when he didn't get it. Got a couple of nice shots in. It's a win-win. Little cut under the left eye of Taran. Got caught with something. That's good work from Trabelsi, very subtle, but by changing levels, he was giving Tara different looks, which meant he had to back off there. Oh, the timing on that, using the hands to set up the outside trip. Sumptuous wrestling from Tara. Tara, Brave Nation is good and he's getting better as the fight goes on. He's not getting fatigued. He's getting more and more information on his opponent and he's using it to, as you saw right there, get a takedown the quickest he has in this fight thus far. Nice work from Trabelsi to get back to his feet, but inevitably what goes up must come down. It's just gravity, Kirik. Right now, essentially the three-quarter side control here. Tehran needs to be a little bit busier from top. Takedowns now count less than they used to. There's been an evolution in the understanding of the unified rules of mixed martial arts. Simply getting a takedown does not indicate you're ahead in the fight. He's just happy to solidify the position right now. Full side control, hips nice and low. May look for knee on belly and then transition into side control. Doesn't have anything directly offensive right now. Just maybe some shoulder pressure, but not looking for the head arm triangle. Very impressive shoulder pressure it is, and now he's switched. Oh, he was looking for submission we do not oh, see very often. He's looking for the bars written squeeze. Years. Oh, right now, finds himself in trouble. May get his back taken here. That's what happens, Brave Nation. If you look for a highlight reel, there's a back to it. And it's not pretty. 
No hooks are in yet. High risk, high reward, but he is underneath the chin, Kerry. Forearms under the chin. And he's, and he's out. out. What a beautiful transition. Taran needs to be careful. He doesn't leave an arm in here. As almost always, Brave Nation, you need position before submission without at least one of those hooks in place. That well-sunk choke was not effective. Beautiful work right now from Tyron. Just casually transitions into the side control. I don't think we're going to see him switch the scarf again. Not a nice little frame off elbows. Looking for the hand now. Straight arm bar in Americana, perhaps. It's Look getting closer. Looking for that Americana. Now he's just, oh, oh, huge elbow. That's a beautiful example, Brave Nation, of how you look for one thing, you don't get it. It gives you something else even bigger. Theatricality and misdirection are powerful And now agents. we're right back on it. Needs to try and get his leg free to get as much leverage as he can on the Americana. Has it with one arm. You can complete the submission this way. It was incredibly difficult. 10 seconds left. Oh, he's trying to pop that shoulder. One of the three keys here, keeping that wrist pinned on the ground. Didn't happen, wrist came just slightly off. Wasn't successful, but that was an extremely successful round for Pat Kelly to run. This now really has to be with Mohamed Trabelsi. He's the one that needs to push the action. He, objectively speaking, he's the one that needs the finish here. He's the one that needs to get it done. For Momo to win this fight, he has to either tap his opponent out or knock him out. And he's trying to do it. Oh, the gum seals he, out. He's looking for it. Big, hard overhand shot. But in doing so, almost and he's still up. Trabelsi is a dog with a bone when it comes to takedowns. Referee waiting for a natural break in the action to pop that gum sheet right back in. Beautifully chosen moment there. Great work by Gert Richter. May try and snake his lead foot round the back and initiate another trip. Such great officiating we're seeing tonight, Phil, from these German officials. Pantelli does not want any bit more of the standing. Oh, trip takedown just takes the leg out. That Brave Nation was a monster moment for Pantelli to run in this round. He got clipped hard, wanted to take it down to the ground, deny his opponent the leverage, and he got it. Right now, he finds himself in the open guard of Momo Chabelsi. I'd like to see him square those hips off just a little bit more and be less side on. You don't want to see him give up the angle. Just skips across into a half guard or half mount, depending on your disposition. Continuing to attack, doing just enough to stop the stand up. Needs to solidify the position a little bit more for me and try and clear that underhook that Trebelsi's got. There it is, cleared beautifully. Knee shield in place, but up against the cage like this, it's barely defensive. Trebelsi. Virtually zero offense available from here. And right now, he's just eating shots, trying to dig in for that underhook, but 
He needs to do something proactive right now. He cannot just be a prone opponent. He cannot lie and wait for a moment. He needs to create the moment. He needs a finish to win this fight, but right now, Tehran keeps falling on his head. Momo needs to know uh, he's going to take some sh shots where he is. He's going to get hit. He needs to try to stand. He's going to get hit even more, but it's what he has to do. There we go. He's back there up to the elbow, go. up to the hands. Got the underhook. There's a little sequence. Hand, elbow, knee, hand, foot. Tried to get the stand up, but Taran said no, no to Momo. Oh, momentarily thought he had a reprieve, but Taran drags him down under the deep waters of the Brave Arena. Psychologically, that is a very difficult moment. You know you've got to finish your opponent. You do believe it's going to happen from standing. You finally make it up, only to instantly find yourself on the bottom again. 100 seconds left, Brave Nation. And if you're in Taran, if you're Taran right now and you're in his corner, you're not going to be telling him to take any unnecessary risks. He's winning the fight, he's solidifying the position, he's landing enough strikes to keep himself honest, he's dominating the ground exchanges for the most part. Taran has a winning strategy here and he is able to fulfill it beautifully. He does not have to try and finish his opponent. He puts him on his back, denies him the leverage that's there when you're standing, and then grinds him. He needs to clear that foot on the hip with a little bit of a shift. Doesn't want to find himself caught in something at this stage with less than a minute to go in the third and final round. Looking to step over that foot in the hip right now, was not successful with it. But he continues to grind, he continues to land shots. Hammer fist there, looping right there. Look at the underhook from Momo on the bottom, trying to find an angle for himself. He's got an angle and he's not near the fence, but he doesn't have the elbow positioning he needs. And that is going to be so demoralizing. That may have been the last Hail Mary in the locker of Momo. Momo looking for it again. He's still trying to work the angle. But again, Taran so wise to it. 10 Elbows seconds to go. Wide. 10 seconds, Brave Nation. Oh, and he's throwing everything into the final 10 seconds. Boom, 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 boom from both of them. Damn. Damn. For the first time tonight, we go to the judges' scorecard. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the bout 30 27 for your winner by unanimous decision out of the blue corner, Pantelli! Yeah. 